what's up everybody it's Onglor. today's video is going to be a 4v4 with the at all times cross faction pvp i'm getting used to it it's patch 5.9.2 and yeah i'm already missing the days of imps versus pubs but it is what it is okay when this match started i was thinking to myself hmm first thing i'm gonna do is go after the healer because i just don't want them sitting there free casting so I'm kind of hoping my team follows the same train of thought because usually when there's a healer on the other team or on your team you're going to win most of the time so I'm just going to keep putting pressure on this healer the entire time and try to kill him. Now I did get him down here pretty low and if I had my team helping me we would have killed him already. I really just don't want the healer going around free casting the entire time. Because, you know, all of a sudden we're about to kill somebody, then yeah, they go back to full health. Or almost full. Okay, I know where he went. I seen him place down his phase walk. I'm assuming he's in a bubble, or already has a bubble. And if he did, he broke it early. Okay, so at least while I was keeping this healer busy, my team got down a couple of people. So, that's good. It's just still weird to me looking at my team and seeing a gunslinger on my team since it's not a dust and proven ground but yeah it seems the matches of of late have been either a beat down or you lose really quick there haven't been too too many close matches so yeah that's kind of changed already and during the second match i was telling my team hey if we all take down the healer really quick we're going to be guaranteed a win here and the match will go faster you know, just burn the healer. Uh, the other DPS didn't survive too long, so let's just make this a quick victory. And yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so I love the first round in damage. I'm hoping I'll lead this round in damage as well, just because I'm going to focus my attention the entire time on the healer and, you know, throw out an AoE stunner if I have to, a taunt here and there. But it seems like this team can handle themselves pretty decently. I wasn't paying too close attention of what their DPS was doing because I'm just focused on getting this damn healer down. And he's on the other side this time. So at least one person listened to me. And, you know, we're going to try to hopefully get down this healer quickly. Ah, oh, damn it. At the last second here. Okay, so, yeah, this person's a merc. So, yep, there goes the first of many times you have to kill him. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to go look for that. The healer went down really fast. I'm actually kind of surprised. I was going to go back and check for him, but I was like, oh, he's already dead. So, yeah, this should be GG. I think the last person that will be alive on their team will be the Merc, I'm, I'm going to assume. Okay, there's a couple alive still. One of our teammates got defended, but these two are really, really low. One Vengeful Slam should, like, take them both out. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so, yeah, this match actually went pretty good. I didn't know what to expect from these people because, like I said, this cross-faction PvP thus far hasn't really been too kind to me. Like I said, it's been either really fast or, yeah. So, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still missing the days versus, you know, imps versus pubs. Hopefully, that'll come back soon. But, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.